Let's talk tension on the Bernina 570 Quilters Edition. Now, so many times people blame tension for the problems of the sewing machine that is probably more operator error because they didn't thread it right, they used crappy thread, or the needle was not, uh, hasn't been changed for a while. And don't forget, you need to clean and oil Berninas on a regular basis. Yes, on this machine, every time you sit down to sew. So if you're having what I call tension issues, Let's make sure it's not actually something that you have done. But there is a time and place where tension needs to be adjusted. So first off, this machine is considered to have automatic tension. So I wanna make sure that I clarify what that actually means and why I still, at times, need to change my tension. So for example, right now, I have one totally different thread in my needle and I have a totally different brand of thread and thickness of thread in my bobbin. This will help us so we can see when we do change our tension, what's actually changing. Is one getting pulled to the top of the fabric or one is pu getting pulled more to the uh, bottom of the fabric? So what are we talking about? So when you have your machine um, serviced, you take care of it, you use good quality thread, and the same thread in your needle and in your bobbin, you will find your base basic tension number that comes up for each stitch is going to be probably in the near ballpark of what you need. You probably don't have to change it a lot. Now, as soon as you start to unbalance, which we do a lot when we use decorative threads, for example, in our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course, we use a lot of decorative stitches, we use a lot of accessory presser feet to do things that are just not normal at all from bobbin work. Here's some fringe. Yes, we have to loosen our tension a lot to get fringe. We play with twin needles. So we're working with a, a total of three threads, two needles, two threads in the top and one in the bottom. There's so many different variations that you do need to understand tension. Now here's an example of what I meant by a stitch having a different tension. So for example, when we go to a buttonhole, and I'm gonna just choose stitch number 51, look at what the tension changed to. It changed to 2.5, and that's down from like five point something. So why does a buttonhole require a looser tension on top? So remember, this number is only adjusting your top thread. The bobbin thread stays the same because it's running through your bobbin case. So if this this is looser, that means this is going to help pull those stitches around to the backside for the prettiest buttonhole ever. Now normally back in the day when we had dials on the machines, the recommended tension adjustment for a buttonhole was to loosen it. So by loosening that top, it pulls it to the backside. So I'm gonna just take, and I'm gonna stitch a zigzag real quick, and I'm gonna actually make this a little wider here, and I'm gonna just show you what a good looking stitch is supposed to look like. So even here at the zigzag, 4.25, that's actually been uh, reduced as I went from a straight stitch to a zigzag. So on a zigzag stitch, we are gonna get the stitches pulled to the back side a little bit. So what we see here, this is my bobbin thread, and I have a variegated thread in the needle, but I see just a little bit, the little dots of my decorative thread being pulled to the back side because I sure don't want the bobbin thread on the top. So this is always supposed to be uh, prettier here, and if anything, pulled a little bit to the back side. So let me actually do something. Let's touch tension, and you can change the tension by actually turning one of the knobs. You can move the bubble by touching it and dragging it, and then you can also plus it or minus it, depending if you need to go in smaller increments. So let's just go ahead, let's just crank it up. And you can sew from the tension screen. So as you're trying to get it to look just right, we can find that uh, setting for it to be dialed in or change it while you're sewing. Okay, so here's what we have. We tighten the top. So now you're seeing that little pink thread coming up to the top side and definitely, well, that doesn't look good, but we know why, because we have changed it greatly. Remember, if you have anything yellow, touch it. Goes back to the default setting for that stitch. Let's go the opposite way. Let's kind of reduce it down. So here's something I always tell my students is if you are, uh, you know you need to change the tension, but you don't know what to change it to. 
I always tell my students, if you know you need to change your tension, but you don't know what to change it to, you do need to actually change it by a whole number. So if it's at four, go to five. If it's five, go to six, for an example there. But so one little twist of the, the knob is not gonna take it, uh, it much of a change at all. So here's what we have when we have really loose, loose tension. See how much of the top thread's being pulled down? Gosh, you can see just a little bit of the bobbin thread. So this isn't bad, but we're definitely using more thread than we should uh, from the top. So usually to balance that out, we would, wouldn't be going down so low. Some of the things that I do adjust my tension for, when I use metallic threads, when I use clear threads, because usually clear, I've got something more um, like a normal sewing thread in the bobbin, but I have clear thread in my needle. That always requires me to reduce the tension about half the distance. Usually I'll just go down to like two and then start there and see how that actually works. Metallic thread, kind of the same thing. Uh, metallic thread's a little stronger than it, it pretends to be, so it will often pull bobbin thread up to the top. When you go into the embroidery side of this machine, if you have the embroidery unit, you will find that the embroidery tension settings will again be very loose on the top to help pull those pretty stitches down into the back where you just use a neutral, most of the time, white thread down on the back side of your fabric and then you have a pretty looking embroidery when you're done. So tension, don't be adjusting the tension if you've got the same way to thread in, you probably don't need to do that. Make sure you've changed your needle, cleaned your machine, have had your machine serviced on an annual basis. Yes, trust me, it makes a difference. Have your local Bernina technician go through it once a year and that is what's gonna keep everything running top notch. But if you start to experiment with more threads, like what we do in our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course, check out those links below. If you're interested, we've got like over 10 videos that you can watch for free and see if this course is right for you. We're gonna push you to new limits that will allow you to use this machine so much more than somebody who never experiments with tension, decorative threads, additional presser feet, and all those decorative stitches. Let's have some fun together. Invite me to your sewing room today.